So here's the new setup. It's not wired in properly yet. <clears throat> uh, I gotta get some oil filtered. So I got this oil barrel here in the top uh, section, but unfortunately the 55 gallon drum filters don't fit in the 55 gallon drum plastic drums. Anyway, so I'm just gonna angle this sucker and uh, get some oil flowing through there and the oil is gonna go through the centrifuge and down into this big tank here. And we're gonna use a sump pump to pump it from here into our heating barrel and eventually into the uh, biodiesel processor. But for now we're just gonna bulk centrifuge uh, waste veg oil. Now we're using a 400 micron screen, a little bit more coarse. I'm not worried about going super fine on this. Flows through really nice and catches all the major stuff. Then we're going through the centrifuge and you can see the clean oil coming out here. Going into the big tank. And that'll be used in the biodiesel processor afterwards. So it's just a temporary setup for now. I gotta get some oil filtering here. So we'll have this all hooked up with switches and whatnot a little later. A couple interesting things I got uh, this week. This is a, a water valve on clearance at Duda Diesel for uh, 2250 and we've got a magnetic stir here for 69 bucks. The stir stick is another 450. You put a beaker on here and for doing titrations this will give you a nice mix as you're adding the drops of phenylalanine or uh, KOH solution to it or if you're using sodium hydroxide solution. So you can do your titrations on here real nice. Uh, this guy here uh, is for the wash water and you got your hot water coming in and your hot water coming out and it's a 110 volt coil that's going to be controlled by a timer just like the timer that I've got here for my biodiesel pump so you can use the countdown timer on this guy and I'm going to time it so that uh, my wash nozzle in the top of the processor uh, adds about five gallons or seven gallons of water and then shuts off automatically so essentially you can just set your wash to go and walk away and uh, come back and you got just the right amount of wash water in your processor so I'll run you through all that stuff later when I get it hooked up and I'm going to go through another titration later on as well and uh, make sure we got that all down pat and know how to do that correctly. 